Hello, good morning, everybody. Today, uh, we get to learn from Rosemary, and let's make this a super engaging, interactive, professional highlight. Go ahead, Rosemary. Thank you very, very much. Again, I'm Rosemary Giacomini. I'm the Donor Engagement Officer of United Way of the Wine Country, and I'm also the director of our Women United Giving Group. As Bianca mentioned, I worked in banking at local community banks uh, here in Sonoma County for almost 25 years before transitioning to the nonprofit world at United Way of the Wine Country. For a long time, I had appreciated what nonprofits were doing in the community, especially United Way of the Wine Country, United Companions, Habitat for Humanity, many, many of our regional nonprofits that are so, so impactful in our community. And I, I, I wanted to do more. I wanted to actually be, uh, say, in a classroom as a Schools of Hope tutor <clears throat> at the food bank more often. So um, the, the move from banking as far as, you know, customer service, those skills translated pretty well to being in the nonprofit world because you really are providing a service to your clients. And our clients happen to be nonprofits and organizations. For over 50 years, United Way of the Wine Country has been working to support sustainable improvements to systems and services that benefit all of the residents in our shared communities. In short, we raise money and we award grants. There's so much data that I could share regarding the amount of funds raised, program background and services provided, but today I'm going to focus on workplace giving. We proudly serve families <clears throat> and individuals that live and work in our five counties. So we cover Sonoma, Mendocino, Lake, Humboldt, and Del Norte. So it's an expansive region attempt to have an impact our community's lives. Our mission is to improve family financial stability by serving as a vital link between businesses residents, nonprofit organizations, as well as government leaders. United Way of the Wine Country is a trusted partner and expert in community impact. And what we do through workplace giving is to help employees find the organizations or designations that have um, a personal, speak to a personal passion. There's so much need and there's so many organizations that are doing good work. It's very difficult to know where to put your money so that it makes the biggest impact. Workplace campaigns support a company's corporate social responsibility efforts by providing employees an opportunity through payroll deduction to designate to nonprofits of their choice or one of our four grant making giving groups. <clears throat> or our United We Rise Fund, which supports our programs and our advocacy work. Nonprofits that donors gift to must be a registered 501c3. Over the past five years, more than 800 workplace campaigns have raised 11.3 million in support of vital community-based programs and services. I'm personally very proud to share that through the engagement with employees and individual donors, our giving groups Pride United and Women United just completed our 2021 spring community grants cycle. We were able to raise and then grant out over $100,000 to 11 nonprofits. Those nonprofits served a range of organizations. Those nonprofits support a range of community members, our LGBTQI community, as well as women and families. And the focus again is financial stability. United Way as a whole began in 1887 in Colorado. Uh, some may not be familiar with United Way. There is Maybe a disconnect as far as age, those who are older know of United Way throughout the, the nation and it's, it's new to some people who are on the younger age range. But over the span of 125 years, United Way has expanded to serve 1,800 communities across 40 countries and territories. 
Each localized United Way is governed by a board of directors who is comprised of members of the communities it serves. So funds raised, community members, everything is local. A recently United Way of the Wine Country redefined and implemented a new board development and community board governance. And that is in an effort to align with DEI grant making goals and strategies. We are looking to workplace campaigns and individual donors to be volunteers for our board of directors, our committees, grant committees, and advisory boards. So a little bit about me, transplant to Santa Rosa from Humboldt County about 26 years ago when my husband accepted a teaching position at L.C. Allen High School. He and I graduated the same year from the only high school in Eureka. And though we knew each other, we didn't date until junior college. We successfully maintained a long distance relationship while he went to UC Davis and got his degree. He then moved back to Eureka to get his teaching credential. We love Sonoma County. It has the best of everything, the best concerts, the access to ball games and snow and the ocean. <laughs> Thrilled to be the mom of two boys and a participant or a supporter in all of their activities, including judo, water polo, snowboarding, cross country, and ballroom dancing. Our oldest is a rising sophomore at Cal Poly in mechanical engineering. Our youngest will begin his junior year of high school this August, and he's currently working on his driver's license. We are also the daily servants to a dog that you may have seen. We rescued her five years ago. Like many people my age, I am a member of the sandwich generation. Those who are raising children, but also supporting aging parents or parent in, in their finances and health care. A year ago, I moved my mom here from Arizona following the death of my stepdad. I'm fortunate to be a classmate of Heather Nelson's with uh, Leadership Santa Rosa, Class 36. Prior to the pandemic, I joined a few longtime friends in the creation of Inspiration Sports Foundation. We are a charitable foundation that is dedicated to helping promote healthy living through sports and physical fitness for the whole family. In collaboration with Team DJFE Triathlon Race Series, we offer triathlon series for the whole family. Whether you're curious about triathlons or want to practice transitions, we welcome and support athletes of all levels and all ages. Our series is the only pool triathlon in Northern California. We'd love to have you join us as a volunteer or register as a family, as a team. Our race is Sunday, September 26th at Finley. I can provide more information for those who are interested. Again, I truly appreciate this opportunity and your attention. Happy to answer any questions you may have and am thrilled as the county opens up to maybe have the opportunity to meet in person and share more information about me about your business and about United Way of the Wine Country. Mm -hmm.